Hello again, and welcome to GracePointOnline.com's Logos 4 training session over passage lists. This is an outreach ministry from Grace Point Baptist Church uh, in Oklahoma City. We would like to take this time to briefly go over one of the new and exciting features from the latest update for Logos 4 Bible software. Um, passage lists. What is a passage list? Well, for those of you who may be familiar with Lebronics Digital Library System 3, commonly known as Logos 3, it is this, essentially the same function as what was called verse list. In Logos 4, it's now called passage list. This is a tool to where we can quickly get lists of scripture from any book, any article, any portion of an article or book, any file, basically anywhere there is generated digital text of any scripture, and we can organize them quickly into a list and title that to any type of topic of Bible doctrine, or uh, perhaps it could be the title or thesis of an article, and organize those in a way that we can save and study them, and also they would be fully searchable within uh, Logos 4. Well, let us begin. We'll open up. Please follow along with the uh, little Trinity cursor. It will lead the way. Now, in Logos 4, the way we would do this. Let's hypothetically say that we were studying the decrees of God from systematic theology from Wayne Grudem, an introduction to Bible doctrine. And within the decrees of God, we wanted to say, hmm, what are how can I get all of these scriptures that are annotated here into a quick and easy list that I can study that where the Bible speaks to the decrees of God? Hence, passage list. We were going to go to file first and select. Remember, any self-user generated content within Logos, you're going to go to file. And then we'd select, of course, passage list. And you will notice that it, it, it initially lays out very similar in, in appearance to uh, a note. So same process stands. Get in the habit first of selecting the text field for titling your passage list as you would a note or a note file. We were going to title this The Decrees of God. And we will attribute it, since we're in this particular text, to Mr. Grudem. And that way, if we're searching, we have multiple uh, passage lists pertaining to the decrees of God, we would have them separated by author. It's just a matter of preference, and, and that, that's the way that I, I like to do things, and I would encourage others to do the same. So how are we going to get these scriptures into this passage list? Well, the very simplest way is to left click over in the text, select the text, drag down to the end of where you would like to pull those scriptures from, come back over to your passage list and select add. Add what? Add passages from selected text. That would be this blue selected text here. Select it and instantaneously all these scriptures that point to the decrees of God as within systematic theology an introduction to Bible doctrine by Wayne Grudem would appear here so then you can study these at your own leisure you have a document that is now searchable again you may want to read these verses in context well within any hyperlinked uh, scripture verse within Logos you can select that and then it would then open up your Bible to read that particular verse within context as well. Now, as it's opening the Bible, I want to remind you again, all user-generated content, it would be very wise to hit Control D, and that is the Logos shortcut to send that particular file over to your favorites. We'll open your favorites folder, and as you can see, the Degrees of God by Wayne Grudem is there. Let's do one more. All right, let's do 
The Great Doctrines of the Bible, Volume 2, from Martin Lloyd-Jones. And let's deal, let's say we're dealing in regeneration. Well, we want to get some scriptures that Dr. Lloyd-Jones talks about in regeneration into a passage list. Again, file to any user-generated content, select passage list. Title it, oops, Regeneration, Lloyd Jones, and the Doctor. And then let's select the text back in our reference. Take it to the end of the section. So we can be sure we get all references. Okay. Leave the text selected. Come over to your passage list again. Add what? Add passages from selected text. And instantly there they are. Again, since Logos is um, very wonderful in the eternal security of your data, um, it, once you save this document, it will be always saved. But let's go ahead and move it to a way that we can access it quickly and organize our own content in a great way. Again, send it to our favorites. So I'll open my favorites over in panel one, and then I'm going to control D, which will send right here, the document we just have for future study. And again, as with all generated user content within Logos, it is fully searchable. So this passage list you would see again as well. If any you get a hit on any of those scripture references under your user defined content. Well, I just want to thank you for your time and uh, Lord willing, I pray that you be blessed by this training and that it will greatly enhance your ability to use this software and do uh, wonderful things for the kingdom. Uh, may the Lord bless you in this endeavor. Thank you and God bless.